Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. And to it's 144 Tarot. This is going to be for the Cancers. Okay, we going to see what's going on. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification for more videos, okay? We want to see what's going on with you guys, okay? I hope everyone is doing well, being safe, and being blessed, okay? Okay, merch. For some of you guys, you could be married. Hmm. What this imprisonment card? Hmm. Do someone feel like they're trapped in a marriage? What else for cancer? Someone could feel like they are trapped in a marriage. Is someone here feeling stuck? When it comes to their partnership? Maybe there ain't nothing else. I guess let's focus on these two cards. feel trapped here. Someone could feel like they are forced to stay in the marriage here. Toil and labor. Someone could probably feel like this merge or their merge is a lot of work. Someone feel like some type of entrapment here. Someone can feel like it's a lot of work when it comes to their marriage. Someone can feel like they put in a lot when it comes to their marriage, but they're not like 
things that's not being reciprocated. You, you, you're giving and giving, but nothing coming out of it. Hmm. Somebody put in a lot of work. And this merge could have been one-sided here. One-sided. One more, please, Spirit. Someone could be overwhelmed. Someone could be tired here. Someone could feel like there's no way out when it comes to this merch. Somebody's feeling stuck. They feel like they don't have a way out. They could feel like this merge is a, a imprisonment for them. Someone is putting in a lot of work and it could be one-sided. Someone could feel like a mature woman could feel this way. With high honors at the bottom. There is a mature woman here and this could be you, Cancer. Someone that's older, someone that could be a mother figure. You can feel like you're stuck in the merge. You can also feel like this commitment was only one-sided. It was not reciprocated. You could have been the one that was given and given, but you wasn't receiving anything back from your partner here. You could also be just working. Like you could have been an individual that was, you know, just working, constantly working on your merge. And, you know, that could have put you in a place of lack. In a place of um, poverty. Hmm. I'm gonna clarify. Give me something on merch, please. For cancer spur, please. Eight of Wands. There is some type of fast action coming in. Someone could be holding on to this. The devil. There is some type of strong attachment when it comes to this merge. Someone is refusing to let you go. And that's why you could feel... Um, Stuck, like you can't get out of your merge. 
someone could be bound to you, um, Cancer. Some type of quick action is coming in. It could be some type of form of uh, communication coming in concerning your marriage. Someone might want to come in very quickly to discuss some things that has something to do with your marriage. Clarify this eight of wands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ten of cups. A family dynamic. Yeah. Some type of fulfillment. Yeah. So someone wants to come in or want to um discuss and have some type of communication with you guys concerning your marriage or family union. Okay. Someone definitely want to come in and take some type of action. There could be a lot of conflict surrounding someone's merge here or commitment. Okay. Multiple people could be involved. There could have been a lot of competition. A lot of um, mental games. A lot of, you know, someone want to win at all costs when it comes. So that's what I'm saying. You, This merge could have been one-sided. You could have put in a lot of work. When it comes to your relationship. Partnerships, family shit. You could feel stuck. You can feel like um, there's no way out of this marriage or commitment. Only thing. It was only passion when it came to this um, commitment with the Ace of Wands. It's like it wasn't. There wasn't no real love when it came to this marriage. For some of you guys. It's like this marriage was um, more so passion based. More sexual than anything. So there's there's really no love in this connection. But someone is holding on um very tightly to the passion of things. But I don't see no love here. It's a lot of conflict, drama surrounding your your uh, marriage or relationship here. Strong attachments. Okay? Someone not trying to let you go. They holding on to you. Give me something on this imprisonment for cancer, please, Spirit. What is this imprisonment for cancer? Yeah, someone put in a lot of work in their relationship. Yeah, imprisonment. Eight of Swords. Yeah. Someone could feel like they was bound to this merge. They, like I said, it's a lot of confusion and illusion when it comes to this commitment, this relationship. Someone could feel stuck and stagnant. Someone could feel like there's no way out of this um, commitment or merge for some of you guys. Hmm. Someone, this, someone definitely... Is having a lot of mental imprisonment going on here. 
Okay. Yes. It this this marriage or commitment was only about passion. Excuse me. I do not see no love at all in this commitment. You can have kids with someone here. Yes, there was a lot of um someone is in their here head heavily here. There could have been a lot of competition. Someone was probably competing with you guys. Yes, a lot of drama and conflict over you guys. The Queen of Cups. Pisces Cancer energy here. Give me something else on this um, Eight of Swords and under this imprisonment for cancer, please, Spirit. The chariot, cancer energy. There's some type of forward movement. There is some type of action being taken with the uh, eight of wands concerning your marriage and your family dynamic. So I'm guessing it's going to be some type of fast forward movement, okay? The Empress. You're someone that's very compassionate, very nurturing, a sweetheart, someone that's very caring. For some of you guys, you could be pregnant. If so, congratulations. But someone here is in um, regret. This is their um, imprisonment and um, Eight of Swords energy. Someone... Um, could be sad. Someone could be broken here. Judgment has been called on this partnership. This individual could have missed some type of um, opportunity with you guys. Someone missed out on this victory and celebration with you guys with the Six of Wands. Be careful, you can have someone in the background that's hating on your success for some of you guys. It could be someone from your past, someone you know from childhood, family, friend, or lover. There's some type of um, leap that you guys are taking, okay? And you're manifesting this leap. Yeah, someone rushing in. Someone is rushing in. Someone is definitely rushing in. Some forward movement, okay? Someone is rushing in with their knight of swords, okay? They're coming to make some type of decision with you guys. They're coming to offer you this ace of cups. Mm-hmm. The moon, Pisces Cancer energy. The uh, the hangman, something uh, was illuminating. Something came to light, Okay? Someone, this the secret that they hide in from you. That they want to come in and offer you something. The high priestess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Someone also could be smiling on you guys. Give me something on, on this toil and labor for cancer, please, sir. And thank you. What is this um, toil and labor? Someone can see you as someone of high honors here, okay, of high value.
someone that had morals and respect for yourself. And that could be the reason why they rushing in. Okay. This individual could know that you. Um, hmm. Work very hard on this relationship. Maybe this individual know that this relationship was not balanced. They know that it was one-sided. So they rush it in to communicate with you, to make some type of offer or gesture of love towards you guys. They might want to come in and, you know, just tell you how much they love you, how much they want to be with you. How they don't want this merge or commitment to end here. Give me something on Toyo and Labor. The Ace of Wands. Someone rushing in with a lot of passion towards you guys. Mm -hmm. They want to come rushing in with a lot of passion. Hmm. There's a queen of pentacles here in reverse. A mother figure. This could have been a spiritual connection with the high front. But it was a lot of burdens and conflicts and drama going here. Yes, and the causes keep repeating itself. It's someone from your past that's in a lot of regret here. They want to have some type of victory and success with you guys. They could even want you to um, show them some type of attention. They could feel like they losing you. You no longer want to be in this merge or commitment anymore. But someone is manifesting and making up their mind. They taking some type of leap and they coming in quickly. Mm -hmm. Whatever this hidden information was that was kept in the dark with the moon card. And the high priestess and the hangman, something came to light. Um, someone had a revelation. Okay. Someone eyes is opening now. Like someone did a lot of reflecting on things now. And they want to come in to offer you um, this cup of love. Ace of Cups. They tired of being out in the cold. Okay. They are tired of being by themselves. They feel like you don't love them anymore. They feel like you forgot about them. Yeah, some, it could be a younger energy cancer. It don't have to be. It could just be someone that's very immature. But they want to come in and offer you some type of, you know, apology. They want to tell you how much they love you and miss you. How they want to make things right. And they definitely spying on you. Okay? If you had social media, they are spying on you. They trying to uh, figure out what are you doing. Okay? They are hoping that you did not uh, leave or, or dealing with someone else. Spurs said that's the truth with the Ace of Swords. They see you as someone that's very independent, very stable and grounded here. Someone that can do, someone that can have it all, okay? They want to start a new beginning with you with the Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. this, was, this was someone that was um, in Hermit. Someone that was doing a lot of thinking and reflecting, okay? Give me something else on this Ace of Swords and show you in Labor Spur for Cancer.
Make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Nine of Swords. The Seven of Swords and Queen of Swords. Someone was sneaky here. This was a sneaky energy. Someone could, like I said, someone having a lot of meltdowns. Someone is all up in their head. Someone is doing a lot of crying, perhaps. Someone is stuck in their mind. They could even have mental health issues, stress or depressed, okay, over this marriage dynamic or family dynamic. Because they they did something sneaky to you guys. They lied to you. And was being very sneaky. But you're guarded. Okay. You, you, you're very, very guarded right now, Cancer. You have your boundaries all the way up. Your wall is up towards this individual. Your partner. Someone know for a fact how they treated you. With the, with the deceit and lies. And you have your boundaries up. You have your guard up. Yeah, five of wands at the bottom. It was a lot of drama some surrounding your marriage. Your, your, your partnership. Your family ship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, five of wands. Queen of cups. The devil and justice. Yeah, somebody had a strong hold on you. Someone is not willing to let you go. It's too much. Fights, arguments. I'm telling you, multiple people could be involved here. They want to have some type of um, wish fulfillment with you guys with the Nine of Cups. They want to give to you. Equally now, they want things to be balanced out between you guys with the two of cups. Okay. Y'all could have a couple of suitors coming in. I'm just letting you know now. Yeah, they want to they wanna come towards you guys. Give me something on this mature woman spirit for cancer, please. Someone know how value, how valuable you are to them. Uh, uh, they know that you are someone that they look up to, and they know whatever they did or whatever issues or burdens they caused in your relationship. They they think about it. They think about it all the time. They stay up at night thinking about the, the the deceit that they did to you. Whatever they caused you or did to you in your connection, they think about it all the time. It's, uh, you know, they repeat it. I'm like, repeatedly, repeatedly. For some odd reason, it's like it happens at night. Like, once you settle down and you're alone, that's when... It's like flashbacks repeatedly coming to their mind and mental imprisonment. They think about how they did you wrong all the time. Tour cups, mature woman. Mm -hmm. Someone that you love. 
Y'all did hear some type of bond. There was some type of connection. Nine of Wands, the inner out energy. Once again, that's all about passion. Don't have much to offer at all. Nothing but passion. Someone that's not reliable. Someone that's not consistent. They just in and out of your life. The Ten of Swords. It was a major betrayal. But that came to an end with the death card behind that. But you're working very hard on your finances, on your stability, Cancer. You're working very, very hard. Very hard. Yes. Mm-hmm. With the Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Cups, the Sun, and the um, Ace of Swords. Spirit said that's the truth. Whatever you're working on is going to make you very happy. You're going to be celebrating with family and friends. Okay, because whatever you're working on going to bring in um, a lot of stability. Okay, a lot of stability. And it's going to make you very happy. Mm. Give me something else on this two of cups. Mature woman. Yeah. Knight of cups. Somebody want to come in and offer you something. Could be a younger energy or simply someone that's just very immature. Mm -hmm. Whoever coming in towards you guys, they don't really have much to give. Okay. It was out of competition, trying to win at all costs, playing a lot of mental games with you guys. Giving to other people, places and things. It was a lot of drama, a lot of drama, a lot of drama. Mm. I think I'm going to leave it as that. Let me see. Is there anything else before I close out? Let me see. Is there anything else for cancer? Yeah, someone definitely want to come in. Things was very unbalanced. Okay. You put a lot of work into your marriage. And it was one-sided. And they know it was one-sided. They know they did not put no effort into this relationship or marriage. Oh, mm, fire sign. It could be a fire sign. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Commitment. Things all getting serious. So just like I said, someone is coming in. They are rushing in with some type of communication, some type of love offer. There is some type of uh, forward moving, movement here. Okay. And it could be from a fire sign. One more spur. Uh oh. Mm, not the whole deck. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's it. Alright. So I guess I'm going to leave it as that. I guess I'm going to leave it as that. Give it time. Everything in divine timing. Let things flow. Okay. I'm going to leave it as that. Oh, at the bottom. Guardian. A lost loved one watches over you, Cancer. Um. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, I think my last um Cancer reading... This same card came out, the Guardian card. So you definitely had someone watching over you, okay? Someone that you could have lost, a, lo a, a loved one that had passed on is watching over you, okay? I'm going to leave it there. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, hit that notification. 
Okay, we all family over here. Y'all stay safe, stay blessed. Bye-bye.